Most creators and marketers know that motion graphics are what make your posts and your content pop. Now, normally to get amazing motion graphics just like these, you'd have to go into, say, Fiverr. You have to find a guy, you have to pay hundreds of dollars and then wait multiple days just to get something you don't even know if you'll like, right? Now, instead of that, some people, right, they'll go and try and use Gemini, they'll try and use ChatGPT, but it just never really works. Here, for example, Gemini is making me pictures, ChatGPT is making pictures, and then this is the GIF version. I don't know where they got this crazy circle. Instead, head over to Hira.ai. Now, Hira is your AI motion designer. You just write a natural language and boom, it creates things just like this. Now, that's not all. It gives you studio level motion design instantly that you can then edit inside the platform, whether that's through a natural language or whether that's actually going in and editing it by yourself. So let's head on into Hira and I'll show you about it. A few really good examples that I've found for Hira are this here, for example, which is a subscribe animation for the AI look channel. Another cool one is this here. Now, these are things you see in YouTube videos all the time. I had given it a news story, right, and a template, and I said in the style of the template, change it based on this specific document. So, and change it back to Mark Zuckerberg. So, I had gotten a template, given it the TechCrunch article, and it's gone away and created a headline and then like a little blurb with a picture of Mark Zuckerberg. All AI is running on its own, which is amazing. Another one here is just an example of text that pops up. Now this here, you know, you could get a template, but why go searching for a template when you can just ask Hira for what you want? Another cool example template is this one here, where it's popping up like a WhatsApp message. So here, instead of going in and having to click in the template and update it, you can just say, change this, make it this conversation, etc., etc. Like I was showing you here, we could even send in, for example, a URL, and it will go and get the information that you need, like the quotes, and put them in there. Amazing. And finally, another really cool one here is this 3D map animation stuff. So it's like a documentary style, the way that it works. If we come over to the, the templates, which I'll show you more about in a minute, a lot of the templates are used for this type of graphic design map documentary style because the way that it does it is just phenomenally well. Like it's so pans in and it will outline borders, etc. You can put flags overlaying on the... On the country, for example, it's really cool at that there. All of simple examples, which does really well, is like a bar graph animation, things like that, which are really handy for LinkedIn posts as well as for editing and stuff because everyone's on LinkedIn nowadays. Everyone's posting on social media. Make yourself stand out, but keep it on brand. Now, if you need some inspiration, you can come here to templates. And on templates, we have infographics, logos, text, social media, ads, overlays, maps, etc. So if we're going to say social media, we can scroll down. Let's find one that we think's cool. I like the look of this here. iPhone emoji. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's another cool one. Oh, hey. Nintendo Game Boy. Let's open that one up. Now, we could actually click use template to then use this and change it how we want or add it to your templates so that we can then go and use it later. If I go back to templates, then up to my templates at the top, now we can see the ones that I've saved. So for example, that one I was showing you with, the news article here. This was the original template that was used as a basis for that. See the date and then the, the headline, Elon Musk, blah, blah, blah. So nothing to do with what I asked. It then went away and created its own one, which was super cool. Here's another cool example that I tried where I was asking it to create a map. Now, the first one that it created, I thought was cool, but it didn't really capture what I was trying to get at. But the cool thing is, you can then just ask it things, like I was saying in natural language down here, to change it. So. I then asked it to change it again and it recreated it. And this time we do have about a 3D zoom, which is cool. Not exactly the angle I want, but again, I'll just ask it here to change it to what I want it to be. Now, the cool thing I wanted to cover here is the history section. So not only now can I run these prompts, right? But now I can actually go back and find them. Like for example, this one here is a week old and I can still go back and go and get this motion graphic and change it based on here, so not only can I go back and get it, but I can actually edit it from whichever version history I want. Now, when the time comes where I want to share this, I can either share this to collaborate with someone, so I can send it to them to use, or I can just export it. Now, for exporting it here, as you can see, we have resolutions all the way up to 4K. We can even make the background transparent, see like this portion here, that could be transparent background. Format, 
go for MP4 I'd suggest and frame rate we can go right up to 60 fps and it even tells you how long it's going to take to do it and of course you can remove the hera watermark as well now to edit them as i was saying you can click around and change stuff but also down at the bottom here we can just talk to it in natural language now we can also import pictures so if we click here we can guide hera on what to do or we can import images so that it has that context same with video audio importing custom fonts as well as CSV data, so if you want information to be shown, like in a bar graph, which is super cool. Now, not only that, we can change how we want it to look. So, we're posting on LinkedIn, we want it to be square, we can get the square version, just like this. If we want to post, say, you know, on your YouTube channel, as part of an edit, you can do it in the widescreen, etc. You can change the timing, you can even get it to redo it, so we can enhance what it's created, or we can just rerun it to get it to recreate it using something else. So really cool stuff. So now plan wise, there's a bunch of plans to choose from. So first of all, you have the free plan. For the free plan, you get 10 prompts per month, which is more than enough to get started with little things you want. So 10 prompts could be, say, for example, you know, two a week to upload to LinkedIn. So two bar graphs or maps or something cool, right? Now standard, we can now move all the way up to 200 prompts. Now that's, you know, plenty for posting say once a day to LinkedIn but if you want to go pro say you want to post multiple times or you want to really hone in your design or say you're a freelancer who wants to do motion graphics motion design and essentially you want to leverage your creativity to help others you can then start looking at the pro mega and even the enterprise plan and if we head over say to like Fiverr for example and you look up a motion designer you can see the price for a bunch of these motion designs like these are crazy like the cheapest ones you're getting here is like for a tiny little design is what 16 quid so for a month on hero which is 200 prompts you could get instead of hiring this one guy for one tiny little animation so you can see just how big a the opportunity is for arbitrage here so you can come to hero and you can actually create graphics here and then sell them to other people or you can just use it yourself and save a bunch of money. And like I said, with Hira, you're avoiding as well all of the like latency effectively between you and the person. So with Hira, you're just messaging straight to Hira. You don't have to worry about waiting for a response. So if you're still messing around with ChatGPT and Gemini, trying to figure out how to get this to actually work, how to edit it, how to keep it on brand, don't. Instead, use Hira. It is super simple, super easy. You can keep everything on brand. They have templates to inspire you, to get you started. And everything can be done in natural language, which is what you want nowadays with this advent of chatbots. Instead of trying to use them for everything, let's leverage them with real products, real companies like what Hira's doing. So check them out with the first link in the description below. If you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.